All right, so let's try another question where we have to apply the binomial theorem to uh, expand a binomial of a higher degree here. So we have a binomial 4a squared plus 2b, and we're expanding it to a power of 3. So that's my n value here. So how many terms are in this expansion? So it's actually 1 more than n, so n plus 1, which is 3 plus 1. We get four terms in total. And then what row of Pascal's triangle will this come from? Well, since we have four terms, uh, that's actually going to be our row number as well. So we're looking at row 4 of Pascal's triangle here. Um, so once again, I'm going to use this table method to organize all of this, uh, all the expansions here because it can get pretty tedious after a while and uh, a little bit crazy looking. So let's look at the coefficients here. So since we're looking at row 4, to get row 4 we go 3, choose 0, which is just 1. Then we go 3, choose 1, which gives you 3. 3, choose 2, gives you 3 again. And 3, choose 3 is just 1. So so here are the coefficients of, uh, of our expansions here. Now we go to our x terms. Now remember, x terms are the first terms, the first term of the expansion. Now the first term of the expansion is 4a squared. So 4a squared, um, oh, yeah, 4a squared. And what we're doing with 4a squared here, sorry, I shouldn't have put those brackets there, 4a squared. Uh, remember, x terms are decreasing in power by 1. So we're going to start with a power of 3. So you start with the n value. Um, then we go to 4a uh, squared and we're going to raise it to a power of 2 this time. All right. And uh, let's keep going here. So 4a squared to a power of 1 and then 4a squared to a power of 0 which will just give you 1. So we'll just leave it as is and then eventually we'll, we'll go go ahead and simplify that. Uh, let's go to the y terms, which is the second term. So 2b, uh, what power do we raise it to though? So y terms are ascending in degree by 1. So we start with 0 and then 2b to the power of 1, 2b to the power of 2, and 2b to the power of 3. Okay, so we stop there. Um, now we go ahead and we combine all these together to create our terms. So the first term is obtained by taking the 1 multiplied by 4a squared to the power of 3 and 2b to the power of 0, which is just 1. So what it's going to end up looking like here is 1 uh, times 4a squared to the power of 3 uh, times 1 again. All right. Um, so I will simplify that. I'll make it a little a little bit better. Uh, I don't need to write these ones down, obviously, but we do have to apply this 3. Now, this 3 applies to both the 4 and the a squared. So 4 cubed gives you 64, and a squared to the power of 3 gives you a to the power of 6. So there's my first term done. Let's go to the second term now. We have 3 uh, times 4a squared to the power of um, 2 times 2b to the power of 1. Now this one's going to create a little bit more of a bigger number here. So we have 3 times 2, which gives you 6, times 4 all squared. Um, so that's going to give you 96 as a coefficient here. Then we have a squared to the power of 2, which is a to the power of 4, and then b to the power of 1, and we'll just leave it like that. Uh, let's go to the next term here. So we'll go 3 times 4a squared to the power of 1 this time, and then 2b to the power of 2. So let's see what number we get here. So we have 3 times 4 times 2 squared, and that's going to give us 48. Now we go to the a value, so a squared, it looks like, so 2 times 1 gives you 2, and then b squared is, uh, is the next uh, variable there. Uh, finally, last term here, we have 1 times 4a squared to the power of 0, that's just 1, and then 2b to the power of 3. All right, so this is just 1. So we have 1 times 1 times 2b to the power of 3. Now 2 cubed gives you 8, and then b cubed is just, well, b cubed. So here are my terms of my expansion here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this question up by stating the final expansion. So I, my original uh, question here is 4a squared plus 2b all cubed. Once I expand, what I end up getting is 64a to the power of 6 plus 96a to the power of 4b plus 48a squared b squared. Uh, is uh, plus 8b cubed, and uh, that's how you do that expansion.